Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for the inequalities which involve the absolute value. Kindly refers to the questions, so my idea would be cross multiply. Reason? Because the situation is always positive for the element. So where we have modulus of negative 2 plus x over we have the modulus of 3x plus 1 greater equals to 1 over 4 so Kali refers to the denominator and we note that it is always positive then only we are allowed to cross multiply so we will have 4 multiply with the absolute value of negative 2 plus x greater equals to absolute value of 3x plus 1 Kylie refers to the situation and state that where x cannot be equal to negative 1 over 3 because it is a denominator and is not allowed to become 0. Next, refers to the situation where we have 4 and the definition for the absolute value is square root of bracket negative 2 plus x square greater equals to square root of 3x plus 1 bracket square so my strategy would be squaring both sides then we have 16 multiply with negative 2 plus x since this is a square so meaning that we will have 2 times for the negative 2 plus x greater equals to 3x plus 1 multiply with 3x plus 1 Kindly expand the situation. So where we will have 16 multiplied with 4 minus 4x plus x square. Greater equals to 9x square plus 6x plus 1. Expand the situation on the left. Where we will have 16x square minus 64x plus 64 minus 9x square minus 6x minus 1 greater equals to 0. Simplify the situation where we will have 16x square minus with the 9x square and we will have 7x square. Next, focus on negative 64x minus with the 6x and we will have negative 70x plus with 63 greater equals to 0. Simplify the situation and we will have x square minus 10x plus 9 greater equals to 0. Next, what we have to do is to factorize the situation. So x square minus 10x plus 9, we will have x minus 9 multiply with x minus 1 greater equals to 0. And kindly note that where x cannot be equal to negative 1 over 3. Since this is the simplest form, so we are allowed to determine the sign where we have a positive sign. Next, kindly split the situation and do remember, always assume as positive. So where we will have x greater equals to 9, x greater equals to 1. So kindly illustrate the situation in a number line. So where we will have 1 and 9. So then circles towards the right, then circles towards the right. And kindly note that where we have the negative 1 over 3 is on this part. So locate the negative sign where we note that it is a positive number line. So kindly multiply the situation. Negative, negative, we will have positive followed by negative, then positive. So it refers to the sign, the region will be the positive region. So in here, the answer would be x such that x is less than equals to 1 or x greater equals to 9, where the x cannot be equals to negative 1 over 3. x such that x is less than negative 1 over 3 or 
x is greater than negative 1 over 3 and less than equals to 1 or x is greater and equals to 9. So that will be the solution set for these inequalities. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.